pop quiz. What do you do with a leftover bottle of sparkling that maybe isn't as fresh as it used to be? Well, actually, to be fair, I've actually never had a leftover bottle of sparkling, but this is the word on the street. Hey guys, I'm Erin Henderson from the Wine Sisters, and today I'm gonna show you an ingenious recipe for using up those leftover bottles of sparkling wine. Hi everyone, I'm Erin from the Wine Sisters, and this is the channel where we show you every week how to eat, drink, and entertain like a pro. Today, I am showing you what to do with leftover sparkling wine. If there is such a thing in your house, there rarely is in mine. But I get it, all month long, our theme has been wedding celebrations and all the beautiful things you can do with bubbly. You can check out our video from last week where we talked about a gorgeous sangria bubbly, absolutely spectacular. I do hope you'll try that out. And in the upcoming episodes, we're gonna be showing you some really spectacular cocktails where you may want to have what I'm about to show you today on hand. So what do you do with those leftover bottles of bubbly, right? You wake up in the morning, you see that there's still a quarter full in this one, half full in this one. All right, what are you gonna do with it? Well, you don't throw it out because that's still really great wine. You can use that for cooking, for example. You can freeze it into ice cubes and then use it to cool down your sangrias. But what I'm gonna show you today is a beautiful, simple syrup that you can use in cocktails, you can pour over ice cream, you're gonna find a lot of different ways to use it and it's absolutely terrific. So the important thing here is that we need to measure. So I've got half a cup of my uh, just basic white sugar. You can use a bunch of other things. If you prefer honey, use that. If you prefer to use coconut sugar, you could try using that. The world is really your oyster when it comes to it. So in it goes. And then what you wanna do is you wanna measure out the same amount of sparkling wine. So that was half a cup. So I'm gonna measure out half a cup as well. Let me just get that happening here. Dun, 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 Half a cup of that, pour it right in there. And now I'm just going to gently heat it over low heat on the stove until the sugar dissolves. And then that's it. And there you have it guys. So simple, so easy reduces waste, but more importantly, it increases the ante, it ups the ante of your cocktail game. Now, you could also uh, go a step further and really big it up if you wanted to, if you knew what the cocktails you were gonna be making in advance and what you were going to need this champagne syrup for. Consider throwing in some citrus peels or some rosemary or some thyme for really interesting savory cocktails. Or if you're gonna go a little bit more into the sweeter cocktails, throw in a vanilla bean or maybe even um, a little bit of like, chocolate powder or something like that. Experiment, have some fun. It's, it's, it's just a cocktail, it's a cooking experiment at the end of the day. But when you find something that's fantastic like this, it's good to hang on to it and pretend that you invented it yourself. I hope you like this week's tip. I think it's a brilliant one. If you would like to leave us a comment or ask us a question on any of your cocktail, wine, or entertaining needs, do so in the comments below. If you like this, give us a little thumbs up. And of course, you can always subscribe and hit that bell to make sure that you are alerted to every time a new video drops, which by the way, is weekly. So thanks again for watching everyone. I'm Erin from the Wine Sisters. I'll see you next week. And until then, stay well, drink better.